Montana fam, it's your boy, Dax Montana man, back out here on this NBA 2K12, my player feature, yo boy, my boy, our boy, Rocky Hendricks, and as you can see right here, we just finished the rookie showcase, here's my numbers, make sure you go check out that video, I dropped it yesterday, go show it some love, you feel me, but... It is time for the draft process. One of my favorite, if not my favorite, draft processes in 2K history where you actually interview with the GMs and owners of each team that's thinking about selecting you in the draft. It was super fire. I ain't gonna do too much more talking. Let's get into it. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm the director of player personnel for the Utah Jazz. My scouts have expressed a lot of interest in you. Before I can give my blessing to use our draft pick on you, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, you know, to make sure you'd fit in with what we do here. I really think the first piece to getting this franchise back on track is to find and develop our point guard of the future. The point is the one position that can really make or break a team and change the overall direction of the franchise. Looking back at the Hornets, look at what Chris Paul did for that team. We want a point guard who will do the same for us, and we think you might be that guy. Convince us of that. Yo, the Jazz had the third pick in the draft in this draft. Are they about to draft me third overall? Are they comparing me to Chris Paul? They want me to come through and change the entire franchise? I think I can do that. You know what? I'm going to answer with, I am that guy. Because I am that guy, if, if we're being honest. Look, I know you're going to talk to some of the other point guards in the draft, but none of them are going to have my work ethic, my character, my dedication and my sheer will to win. I'm eager to be the face of a franchise and I don't want to do it anywhere else but in Utah. I really feel like I would fit in nicely with this roster. And that is how you speak like a true professional. I think these guys probably want to draft me right now, bro. Told them everything they want to hear. If we could go third overall, that would be fire. We realize that here in Utah, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or Chicago. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization. Someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Utah Jazz. Someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of the Utah Jazz. Are you that person? Hmm, am I that person? Now I could, I could lie to them right now and say yes I am because I don't know what it's going to be like in Utah. I might request a trade on day one. Or I could just be honest. And I'm, I'm kind of leaning more towards being honest about my intentions and say, yeah, I honestly don't know, bro, because nobody know what the future holds, you feel me? I don't know, to be honest with you. I'm still so young. I haven't played a single minute in the NBA yet, so I don't feel that I can tell you, at least with any certainty, that I'm going to play my entire NBA career for one team. I'm hoping that they respect the honesty there, you know what I'm saying? I know it's not quite what he wants to hear. But at least we were honest and he knows that he can get honesty out of us. We're not going to just sugarcoat things and tell him what he want to hear, you feel me? So um, I think we're ready for the next team interview. Thanks for your time. This gives us something to take back to the team. We'll see you on draft night. Hello, I'm the head scout for the Golden State Warriors. I want you to know that we're strongly considering you based on your performance tonight with our first round pick, 11th overall. We'd like to get to know you a little better before committing to you. I'm sure you understand. We have a couple of questions, if you don't mind. We feel like we already have some great young guards on our roster in Monte Ellis and Stephen Curry. Where do you see yourself fitting in with those guys? This was actually the draft that Klay Thompson got drafted. And I'm not trying to go to, they got Steph Curry, they got Monte Ellis. I'm never going to get to play, bro. And if I do, I'm going to be a shooting guard or even a small forward, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I am not playing with them. I am not a fit for your rock. This was, tell me this wasn't fire back in the day, bro. You can literally tell them, do not draft me. I'm not really a fit with your current roster. You guys already have some nice guards, guys that would cut into my playing time. I'd rather go to a place where my talents would be best used, and I'm sorry, but that's just not with the Warriors. Again, we being honest. We not being around the bush. We telling these GMs exactly what we think and what's on our mind. 
and hopefully in the long run that get us to a better situation. I like the Utah situation, go to state, yeah, that's just not a fit for me at all. This team has a lot of momentum right now. We went through a rough stretch and had some recent draft picks that didn't work out. With guys like Monte, Stephen Curry, and David Lee, we really feel like we're on the up and up. We like what we've seen out of you, but how do you see yourself fitting in with the team? Did this man not hear me or something, bro? Hey, hello? Um, I just told you I'm not a fit for this team. And you're going to ask me, how do I see myself fitting it? No, I don't. I don't see myself fitting in on this team. By the way, I'm just locked in for a few years. Y'all about to go on a crazy run of championships. Trust me. I'm, I'm speaking from the future. You got some great young players on your roster, but I got to keep it real here, man. I really don't see it working out between me and you. I'm looking to jump into a winning situation, and you guys in Oakland don't exactly have a history of that. It's nothing personal. I just need to do me, baby. Know what I mean? I mean, technically he's right, but um, yeah, the Warriors about to take off. Just in a few years, Steph Curry, by the way, Monte Ellis, Dave Lee, they won't be there. But uh, in a few years, the Warriors are about to go crazy, trust me. But um, let's get to this last interview. Hopefully, it's a really great team in the top 10, and we can we can get drafted by them. I appreciate your honesty answering my questions. Best of luck to you in the draft. Greetings, I'm the GM and Director of Player Personnel for the Rockets. In addition to the 14th pick, we also have the 23rd pick in the upcoming draft and are looking at you with one of those picks. We'd like to get to know you better by asking you a couple of questions. Let's get to it. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? Mm, that's a really great question. I don't know, bro. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to go yes, but it would be tough because that's just like I could probably work through it. But it is going to be tough, bro, playing with a bunch of bums, bro. I'd rather be in Utah if I'm being honest. I've never really lost in my entire life. I've always been good enough to propel every team I've ever been on to success. I realize the NBA will be different in that regard, at least at the start of my career. This will really test my patience, but as a man, I'm up for the challenge. I know I would have my man Kevin Martin there to help carry the load. Again, being honest, bro, this is all it takes, bro. You gotta be honest, you cannot be leading these people the wrong way, because you're gonna end up somewhere you don't wanna end up, you feel me? But look at bro head, his whole head look his whole head look crazy. Um, anyway, um, let's get to this next question. Do you feel pressure to be good right away in this league? Dang, straight to the point. Um, yeah, bro, I feel pressure from myself. You from actually, I'm gonna go, yeah, definitely. Because um, it's Rocky Hendricks we talking about. Not just pressure from myself, but pressure from everybody watching this video. If I don't drop 50 points per game, y'all gonna call me trash. So yeah, bro, I feel a lot of pressure. Definitely. I mean, these teams aren't drafting you to be a dead weight at the end of the bench. They want results, and I totally understand that. It's my responsibility to live up to those expectations. Man, I just hope I can do it. Ooh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh, rock, 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 rock. Listen, brother, I don't like the way he answered that. He, he didn't sound too confident. His confidence sounded a little shaky. Bro, you supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, at least confident. At least lie to the man. You know what I'm saying? Even, even if you just hope you can, at least just lie to the man and say you know you can. Some interesting answers. Thanks again for your time. This game was so fire, bro. They got breakdowns of each and every prospect, all the way down to the bottom of the list, all the way up to the top of the list. Full breakdowns that tell you everything about each of these prospects. And what's crazy is when the actual game was out, and um, like uh, you could really get the rookies in the game. They had breakdowns of the rookies, bro. It was so cold. But right here, it says I'm projected to go 12. Let's take a look at my strengths. Great length for a guard, aggressive score with a crafty offensive game. Very creative, even in the half court. That's that's great right there. Um, And then weaknesses, questions about his maturity and character. That's crazy, those interviews, bro. His decision-making is often questionable at best. Must be improved to play at the next level. I, look, those aren't bad weaknesses. Because it's not necessarily weaknesses about my overall game. You feel me? I feel like I could bounce back from having these as weaknesses. 
So uh, let's get this draft started. I'm hoping I go to Utah, but I really wanted to go in that top 10, bro. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that done, though. Good evening, and welcome to the 2011 NBA Draft. Tonight, we celebrate a new class of basketball talent that has made its way to the NBA. Their dedication and hard work and that of their families has paid off, and this moment is the next step in their promising young careers. It is also a time of extraordinary optimism and hope for the fans of our teams as they look for yet additional great players to make their teams better. The selections that are made tonight will be viewed by millions of NBA fans around the world in more than 200 countries as they make their way to become NBA players. Everyone is ready, so let's get started. With the first pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Doug Martin from the University of Michigan. With the 14th pick oh, in the 2011 no, NBA bro. Draft, the Houston Rockets select the 19-year-old point guard from Louisiana State University. Oh my God, I did not want to go to freaking Houston, man. How we end up in Houston, bro? Oh, heck nah, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. I do not want to be here. Contract negotiations. And uh, the, the, the chicken looking a little empty. Where the rest of my bread at, man? We need you to provide valuable minutes off the bit. Oh, no. This is the maximum amount we can offer you based on where you were drafted. Oh, my God. That is tough, super tough, bro. I ain't even gonna be able to wear my number 11 because Yao Ming got the number 11 retired. Bro, I am having a very bad day. We in freaking Houston. Oh, we do got the number 11, but I don't wanna be here. I, I genuinely don't wanna be here in Houston. I did not think I, look at this, bro. I don't even look right in this jersey, bro. And then we got to play the Jazz in the... F I'm giving y'all work. I'm letting y'all know right now. I'm giving y'all work, bro. But anyway, let's take a look at what we got right here, man. Um, One thing I remember about this game is they had things like, um, like the endorsements, obviously. Minutes. Where are we? Okay, we ace, man. Okay, we'll take that. We'll accept that. Um, My timeline talk about all the things that you was able to do in your career my buzz so this is new it say you can now track your teammate chemistry league-wide popularity and local fans support every decision you make including your press conference effort answers and my player affects your standing so look at this so this is what it's looking like right now and i ain't gonna lie bro i'm a little i'm a little sick i might go ahead and retire i might go i might go ahead and retire right now bro nah i ain't gonna do that but uh we in houston I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of thinking about replaying the whole joint again to get to a better team. Not gonna lie. That's what I'm thinking about. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll find out next episode. But if this is your first time watching the Stacks Montana video, man, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Also, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. And until next time, man, real fans, stay up in your mouth. Montana fam, what's good, dog? Yeah. Hey, no, I've been gone for a minute, but trust me, I'm back in the young nigga locked in. I feel like I'm on my way. See, this is the draft, and young in the top pick. Devil be hitting my phone, they answer the call. Got too many options. Play with my family, my kid. You might fuck around and go get your top in. No, I've been gone for a minute, but trust me, I'm back in the young nigga locked in. I gotta get to the back so I can.